You guys are joining the brotherhood. It's initiation time. The revolution has begun. Liberated forever. Domesticated never. Yeah! We are the flushed pets. Jam, jam, jam. Karate jack to your neck. It's like a club, but with biting and scratching. Ooh, woo! Bam, bam! <laughs> that ball of fluff's got a screw loose. Oh, yes, tiny dog. This is groundbreaking evil behavior, people. Groundbreaking. Uh-oh. Yay, funny! Uh, jab, jab, jab! Body blow, body blow! Breakaway move! Uh, Remember me! Oh, coochie, coochie, Uh-oh. Just ignore what just happened, okay? <laughs> yes! I feel heroic! And handsome! I'm a little wet, but I still look good! I look good. You guys be good. I'll <laughs> see you later. She's good! It does take a lot of coordination to make a, a film of this complexity and the timelines that we make them for the budgets that we make them. The secret to doing that is having really smart people with lots of experience, starting with Chris Melodondry. Animation is the most collaborative medium that uh, I've ever experienced, significantly more so than live action filmmaking. You need to all be in agreement on the essence of the movie that you're making with the writing team. These guys are a bit testy, so just let me do the talking. All the decisions made by the animals are based on what we know and what we love about our pets. Lay down. <sighs> Good boy. Also, you have to find great directorial leadership. What we wanted to do is look at like a new way of doing this from the, the, the type of comedy, the type of stories, the production schedules, the budgets. As a result, it feels like a slightly different voice out there in the family animated film marketplace. We have hundreds of artists working on a film and the job of the directors, we try to guide all of the individual artists and make one cohesive film at the end. We're fascinated with the inner lives of our pets and highly curious about what they're doing and thinking when we're not around. The inspiration behind pets was all of the pets that I've owned, my family's owned since I was a little kid. Cats, dogs. Butterfly! 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 A bird. And what I realized as I became a parent and we started buying our own pets, was we all invested these pets with these rich emotional lives. And whenever we'd come home, we would be thinking about the joy in our pets' faces and seeing us. Well, oh, oh my, oh, she's back! Thinking about them doing things that were perhaps a little bit naughty that we realized that they had done while we were out. And it just struck me that I wasn't alone in thinking about what the inner lives of our pets were. And the minute I started to look at my own pets through that lens, I realized that everybody looked at their pets through that lens. And whether or not it's a real emotional life or a projected emotional life, it almost doesn't matter. Looking at the film, we can trace back where those instincts came from and whose pets inspired it. Lots of it came from our writer, Brian Lynch. Brian's been working with us for the last year plus, and a lot of the anecdotes of his life have made their way into the film. I had one dog who is amazing. She's a great dog. We got her the minute we moved into our house. My wife has never had one. She's like, let's go get a dog. And we went to the, went to the shelter and got a dog. And I got another dog a couple of years later, and the old dog seriously looks at us like, wasn't I good enough? Like, why'd you have to do this? And the new dog looks at us like, how long is she gonna be here? Because I'm ready to just be the only dog. And they fight for a lap. Wait, what are you? How about we can both fit in this bed if we really no, try? No, no. Scoot on in there. No, wait. Ah! Perfect. They fight for love. Uh, so I have to think, I hope they're working it out when we're gone, but I don't think they are. Hi, Max. Hey, Gidget. Who's our new roommate? He's gonna be gone soon. The second dog we got, he's an angry dog. And we don't know what happened to him beforehand. Uh, we got him from the shelter. Um, but he, he's defensive. And the minute you show him love, 
he melts. Like he's like, oh, you're the best. And I really think that fueled Snowball. Bam! Bam! <laughs> that ball of fluff's got a screw loose. When I watch Snowball, he puts on this big act, but he just wants to be held and loved. And whenever I see him, I'm like, okay, that's okay. Thanks, Lou, because you just gave me that. I'm gonna love you forever and ever and ever. Ah. 2016 has been a big year so far for family movies, with Zootopia, Angry Birds, The Jungle Book, and Finding Dory already having had huge successes. But there are still more great family movies to come. The remake of the Disney classic Pete's Dragon, the story of the special bond between an orphaned boy, Pete, and his best friend, Elliot, who just happens to be a dragon. Then there's Moana, starring Dwayne Johnson, a newcomer, Ali Cravalho, a CG animated Disney movie about Moana, a born navigator who sets sail on an action-packed voyage in search of a, a fabled island. Trolls is also another movie not to be missed, a film inspired by the iconic toys made popular in the 70s, starring Justin Timberlake and Anna Kendrick. Finishing off the year is the animated musical comedy Sing, with its all-star cast including Matthew McConaughey, Scarlett Johansson, Reese Witherspoon, Taron Egerton and Seth MacFarlane. The movie is about a koala named Buster, who recruits his best friend to help him drum up business for his theater by hosting a singing competition. I'm looking forward to seeing Sing. What about you? Let me know in the comments below and keep it tuned to our channel for all the best family movie trailers. Bye!